If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, a.k.a. The Drain King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for checking out this quick video tutorial. Today's video is directed towards the beginners that are trying to understand how to flip samples, where to chop them, things like that. I get a lot of questions on guys that are just starting with this, uh, how to do it. So I'm gonna show you just a little small trick that you can use. And this is just something that was shown to me. It's a starting point that will get you guys um, into the habit of chopping samples. This trick kind of works on, I'd say 80 to 90% of the samples that you chop. It's gonna require you to use your ear. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So just follow along with the tutorial and hopefully you'll pick it up. Okay, I have this sample that's already loaded inside of the MPC software. Let me let you check it out. We're gonna tune it up just so we don't get flagged or anything. <laughs> I've already picked out a piece of this sample that I want to use, just a loop inside of the sample. So this is the loop right here. We're going to focus on just trying to pick out some chops for this sample. That way we can kind of make a pattern for it and flip it nice. So I'm going to show you a small trick in how to do that. Okay, when I go to chop, what I want to do is I want to chop the sample up into regions, into 16 regions. So that's what I did here. All you do is just hit regions, it chops the sample up. So now I have the sample in 16 regions. <laughs> This is where the trick comes in. This is where you have to use your ear. All you do is try to look at these samples like drum sounds. And if you listen to the sample, you can hear where the drum sounds hit. The music follows a certain pattern. So it has drum sounds in it. So you can tell where the kick and the snare is. So the one obviously would be the kick. That's how a beat starts, any type of song. So the kick is on the first pad. And then if you listen to the second pad, you can hear the snare right at the beginning of it. Check it out. See what I'm saying? You can actually hear the snare at the beginning. So if you can find a kick and a snare in your pads, then you can play it like drum sounds. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Let's go to the main page. Okay, we're going to go to track two where the sample is. So let me show you. I have the kick here. And then I have a snare here. If you listen, you can hear it. I have a kick here. And then I have another snare here. You can hear that snare hit right before the sample starts because the sample is chopped in that in those individual pieces. If you're able to pick out a perfect loop as we did, and you're able to chop that loop up into 16 equal slices, your pads will fall on the kick and snares. So all you have to do is just be able to pick out the kick and snares and you can play a pattern, just like a kick and a snare drum pattern. <laughs> Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. You see what I'm saying? And once you understand just that simple method of where your kicks and your snares are, that will help you to start flipping your samples and getting an idea of how to come up with a pattern. So let's do that. Let's come up with it with some type of pattern. I'm going to kind of fool around with these kick and snares and see if I can come up with something. Now, I know I like this kick here. And I also like this snare. So I'm going to try and use that in something. Let's see if I can come up with something. I think I got it. It's just a nice little simple pattern and I use I built it off of this kick and then this snare and then I put some other pads in it just to kind of spice it up so if you just stick with a simple a simple kick and snare type pattern with your sample then you're able to to fit in other pads and kind of build the, the uh, flip sequence a little bit better so we're gonna go to track one now 
And this is where our drum sounds are. Okay, so I'm going to show you if you flip your sample in just a simple kick and snare type pattern, then your drum sounds will fall exactly where that is because you did a drum pattern with your samples and now you're going to lay down a drum pattern with your actual drums. So let's let's do the hi-hat first. Let's put it in 16 level and then we're going to make sure it's in velocity and now the hi-hats are spread. Okay, let's do it. drum pattern is nice everything is good and simply because we kept in theme with the kick and the snare pattern on our flip sample as soon as we laid the drums down in a simple kick and snare pattern everything followed flush because the kick and the snare will fall in those exact same places as your flip sample and then all that's left for you to do is just add your effects to the sample whatever you want high pass filters low pass filters delays reverbs anything like that and then you can start building on your sample simply because you have a very very simple pattern that's going on so again this technique just requires you to use your ear find your kicks find your snares And just play them like a simple kick and snare pattern. If you get good at doing this, then you'll get good at building and flipping your samples and making more and more complex sequences so you can make your beats live a little bit. But just practice this technique. As I said, it works with about 80 to 90% of the samples that follow a rhythm. You'll find the kick and the snares in those. And if you find a perfect loop and chop those samples up into 16 slices, you will be able to find the kick and the snare in each one of those slices. I hope you guys got something from this quick tutorial. As I said, it's just some beginner tips for you guys that are trying to understand how to flip samples, trying to understand what's involved in it. This is just a very simple method to get you going that way you understand more and more about it. If you got any value from this tutorial, make sure you guys smash that like button. It helps to put the video in front of the people that it will help. So please do that for your boy. Thanks so much. Also drop a comment below if you want me to do more of these small videos like this, just to show you guys some very, very simple tips and tricks on how to get your samples rocking inside of MPC software. If you guys have more questions and want to get more in detail with the things that you see here and on my videos, make sure you guys take advantage of my live video help sessions. The link is always in the video description. I have an amazing time with you guys on the live sessions, chopping it up, making beats, teaching you guys some tips and tricks about the NPC software and also answering your specific questions. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. It's a very simple sign up process. You pick your date, you pick your time, and we work at your pace, whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced, whatever, it doesn't matter. We will work at your pace to help you understand more about this craft. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the kid DZD, AKA the Drink Kang, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.